what's up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly truly grateful to all those who have been coming back to watch my videos and if you're new to this channel do me a favor click the subscribe button so we can go on this motorcycle vlogging journey together and when you do don't forget to hit the notification bell so whenever i upload new videos you'll be one of the first to be notified so guys in today's video i'm going to show you the installation process of an aftermarket center stand for my 2019 honda cb500x it's not an original honda accessory it's an aftermarket one that i got online but the quality looks good so let me quickly show you what it looks like and take you through the installation process stay tuned so guys this is the stand that i bought online uh, meant for the 2019 2020 and 21 2021 and i guess 2022 as well versions of the honda cb 500x and as you can see it's just a a normal center stand and it came with all these uh, other accessories so you have so you have these sort of plastic i'm not sure exactly but i think these will go into these holes one here and maybe one here and one there just to stop the stand from hitting parts under the motorcycle when you uh, disengage the stand and you have these two very solid springs that obviously will pull it back when you disengage the stand and this one is a pipe that goes through um, the part of the motorbike that the stand is supposed to install on and you've got these two washers and and this screw and bolt to secure this part to the motorcycle so um, I'm just going to take you quickly through the installation process so let's do this so guys this installation is quite an easy and straightforward job so as you can see there's a provision made for a center stand from factory so there is this uh, sort of tunnel here that this particular one is going to go through like so so it's going to go through here and then through this tunnel and to connect to the other end of the center stand and all you got to do is to get the springs on and that's done but before I do anything I'm gonna get these rubber bushings one into this hole here and the second one into that one right there it's kind of hard to get it in so I've just got quite a bit of dishwashing liquid soap just to uh, make it slide in quite easily and then I'm going to use the screwdriver to try to push it in Yeah, that's one in and now off to the second one so now that I have all these both these rubber bushings in it's just time to um, install the actual stand and like I mentioned before this one is going to go through from the other end of the uh, the bike from the other end through this stand all the way to this side so what I'm simply going to do is push it through this tunnel and before I do that I just want to grease it a little bit so I've got a little bit of uh, grease right here nothing too crazy something to just um, let it slide in and out for as long as possible and freely if I put too much grease it's just going to collect dirt over time so just a little bit to to get it to work without any resistance for the long term so as you can see that's about enough not too much grease and then I'm just gonna 
slide it in through the hole to the other side. And I'm just going to go to the other side and guide it in so it, it appears on the other side as well. So that part is in. As it is now, it's just sitting in the hole and uh, any with any vibrations it's just going to slide out. But the what is going to keep it in place is remember the bolts, nuts and washers that I showed you earlier. I'm just going to thread it in. There is this hole right here. So it's going to go like so. I have two washers. I'm guessing one is going to go in the inner part. So I just grab my screwdriver and tighten it. And then I'm going to get this bolt to hold on to the other side. So it's held on now. As you can see, slides. Quite nicely. And then I'm going to find a way to connect the springs. So one end of the spring hooks onto this part of the bike provision has been made for it and then the other end hooks onto this part it's always tricky doing springs but i'm gonna give it a shot and with this one you're gonna thread this one through like so and then i have to find a way to pull both of these springs onto hook to hook onto this part of the stand. I'm gonna try the screwdriver th trick and see if it works. I don't have a tool for uh, this kind of thing. So I'm grabbing one of the springs. If I do both at the same time, it's really difficult to achieve. So I'm grabbing one of the springs first. And once I get it installed, I can go ahead and do the other one as well <laughs> while being very careful okay so it looks like the first one is on just need to pull this screwdriver out okay so the first one is on, now on to the second one. Okay, success guys, is on now. So the trick was to pull one spring first and then the second one. And I can, as you can see, it has a very strong, powerful mechanism. And that's what I'm looking for. So what I'm gonna do now is just uh, make sure everything is tight, just so it doesn't fall off. So guys, moment of truth, it's time to test it and see if it's working as it should. Voila, all right. Get our center stand successfully installed on the 2019 Honda CB500X.
all right guys so that's the end of this installation video thank you so much for sticking around if you found this video interesting or useful please give the video a thumbs up and share the video there's probably someone out there who wants to install a center stand on their motorcycle this video might give a few tips on how to do so so once again if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so whenever i upload new videos you'll be one of the first to be notified until i see you in the next video guys ride legal ride safe peace